Hello again, everyone. My name again is Sam Goodfellow, and today I will be teaching you how to use Facebook for your small business. Um, keep in mind that while I don't own a small business, we will be running through the different points of how to use Facebook if you don't already know. Um, these are just going to be those basic points for you. So let's start right into it. So on the agenda, why Facebook, why you might want to use it, and then again, the using it on a mobile versus a desktop, and then how to post, whether that be stories, uh, reels, or regular feed posts. Okay. So why Facebook? Um, it inc could increase brand awareness. Um, it helps possibly with customer service, as well as um, helps to acquire leads and new customers, helps you to learn more about your customers, as well as increases traffic website or website traffic. Um, so how does it increase brand awareness? Obviously, uh, whatever platform you're going on to, you're going to try to reach an audience, and that is inevitably going to help hopefully boost your brand awareness to people who may not have been aware of your brand already or to a new audience. You, uh, The customer service aspect, you can talk one-on-one -on -one with customers without them being in your store or contacting you directly. It would just be contacting them through, you know, the Facebook app or Messenger, which is their direct messaging counterpart or addition. And then it helps to acquire new leads and new customers because you're going out there, you're possibly finding new customers, um, reaching out to a whole new audience, and especially as different apps can cater more towards different audiences as well. As I talked about in the auditing video, um, if you are possibly using Facebook, you might be leaning a little bit more towards marketing for Generation X, the older generations, as younger generations tend to use apps like Instagram and TikTok. It also helps you learn more about your customers because you can look at their posts as well. Um, again, you can always follow your customers back if they follow you. That's a perks of being a small business as well, is being able to connect with those customers that way, make it a little bit more personable. And you can look into see what their interests are, what their needs are, what they're looking for, things of that nature. And then it increases traffic website. You're obviously going to be posting about your brand, um, your business, and possibly your products and services. So it's going to um, you'll want to have a link to your storefront in your bio or in the URL portal that they have in when you're setting up your platform. And people will be able to click on that and see, go to directly to your website, see more about you, possibly see the products you have on there. And again, that's increasing that traffic website. If they see something that interests them, they're going to want to look more into it. And then looking at the mobile versus the desktop version of Facebook, again, up here, you can see that it's a little bit more compact. Um, I'm sure if you have Facebook yourself, you're familiar with this. However, for desktop, I will say it's easier to manage uh, for small businesses on a desktop than it is on your mobile device. It's easier if you, for you to see everything, um, it has everything in a larger format, so you can kind of view it, organize it the way you want, flip back and forth between tabs if you need to, just kind of keep that in mind when using it. However, when posting, you also want to make sure that all of your posts are going to look nice in the mobile format, which when I talk about Meta Business Suite later, will help um, you view your posts in both mobile and desktop format. So keep that in mind. Um, but that is just the difference going into that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and go into the actual Facebook here. Again, viewing this, this is my personal Facebook, so don't judge too hard. 
I personally don't use Facebook that much. Again, I'm part of a younger generation that uses Instagram and TikTok. Um, looking at the older generations, here you see um, my dad is definitely a Facebook user. So we can scroll down and see the feed that pops up, uh, personalized ads, of course, and then um, any of that. Here we have the watch, which is their almost like live versions that you can watch. Um, Facebook Marketplace, of course, if you're interested in posting there. You can also start a group for your business so that people and followers can join that group and stay more up to date and get personalized notifications on your posts as well. So you might uh, kind of think about creating a group for your audience and customers. And I'm going to go ahead and go home here and then we can look at your friends, most recent posts, things of that nature as well. Um, heading back home at the create button up here, we can create a post on your news feed, which is that regular scroll feed, um, share a story, which are going to be these up here are your stories. And then if we click over here, you can see the reels that are posted, which are short form content like TikToks or the Instagram reels as well. Facebook and Instagram have very similar platforms. Um, as far as what is included on them, because they are owned by the same company. So keeping that in mind as well, if you're using one, um, you might think about using the other as well, because they are basically the same. And again, we get, when we get more into Meta Business Suite, it wouldn't hurt as well, because they have some tools that you can use to make that easier. And then you can also start a live chat if you have some like fun updates or you want to like inform your customers of something right then and there. Um, you can also share with customers or fans on your page, connecting them, creating that page or group, um, creating an event. Say if you have a sale or something going on, you can always add people on that. And then fundraisers if you pair with a non-for-profit um, and all of those. Now creating a post. You get to choose who gets to see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go public. And then again, this is just a basic post that this is what it'll look like if you only post on Facebook. And again, I'm just going to type hello in here. And you can add images. Um, you can tag different people. So if you're working with someone or if you, um, for example, a bridal shop might tag the original de designer on their um, post if you're posting about a designer or a specific dress. Um, and then a location, um, you can always tag your business's location in this as well. So every post could have your business's location on there. So if people aren't aware, it's right there for them. It's on every post so they know. Um, if they want to visit your brick and mortar store fine, if you have one. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. You can always add emojis, change the color, use GIFs, which are those cute little um, short videos, and then adding extra as well. So just keeping that in mind when you're looking at Facebook, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.